Life Church is a multi-site church. Uh, we call it one church in multiple locations. Uh, we currently have 34 campuses and growing. This is the new 4K broadcast facility. Choosing between live and broadcast has always created challenges, but advances in technology with cameras mainly over the past 5, 10, 15 years have made that a lot easier on us. From an experience perspective, a Life Church worship service um, is it's pretty high energy, it's high production. We want audio to be great, we want the band to be great, we um, want our video content to be um, top notch. And we want our lighting program to be intentional and, and very specific to what we're doing in the moment. We don't want it to be all flash and trash, but we really want to set um, a mood, set the environment, and create an experience for the attendees uh, so that they walk away um, with the opportunity to have their life changed. We wanted to pick a selection of fixtures that we felt good about and then design the space from that selection. We knew we had to be very specific about um, which fixtures we wanted to see and spend our money on. And so when we going, uh, before we made those decisions, we, we brought in four or five different manufacturers and did an actual shootout in the space so we could see uh, and compare the fixtures. Coming out of that, uh, we decided to go with Chauvet um, for all of our fixtures in this space. We were able to get a lot more bang for the buck while, without sacrificing any fe features um, from the fixtures. So we went with the 915 VWs for the backlight. Having them, having them use generally the same LED engine uh, as the front light makes it a lot easier to make that balance on camera. Um, and then we went with two layers of front light for video. We have the ones closest to us you can see are the key. And then because a lot of times you'll have speakers that are uh, maybe a little more advanced in age, tend to have deep eye sockets and that sort of thing, uh, we went with a fill fixture farther in the back with just a, a lower angle to help fill in those eye sockets and shadows and things of that nature. Um, we also put a couple of the uh, E930 VWs in a high side position just to help kind of fill in the, the side and the, the cheek and the jowl area on people. Um, especially when you have a flat background like a video wall, that can make them look a lot more dimensional on camera having some of that side lighting in. It was already established that we were going to have an edge to edge video wall in that, which can look great in the room, but it creates a lot of challenges for us on lighting. Sure. We needed a profile fixture that we made sure was going to cut through that, um, but also fit in the budget. When we first learned of the MK3 profile, uh, was when we came down to Fort Lauderdale to visit Chauvet and saw all of the QC process. Uh, we saw the service and support that went behind the fixtures that were already in play. Um, so it gave us some uh, comfort knowing that if a new fixture is coming down the line, it's gone through the rigors to make sure that it's going to be uh, solid when it's deployed. One of the uh cool things about the MK3 profiles in this project has been the CRI filter. One of the mandates going into this is they wanted color on video to match color in real life. So being able to have, have high CRI fixtures everywhere, um, being able to choose whether that's in or not, um, the brightest content on stage they still cut through and allow us to have a lot of layers before you ever see the video on stage. Uh, the other part was the MK3 washes. Um, I, I tend to design more towards big looks where a lot of fixtures are working together to do one thing versus individual fixture beams all over the place. I wanted a ground row of fixtures that fit in front of the video that just gave us both a nice video background. So it needed to have some sort of large face to it that captured well on camera, but then also when used, act as one, acted as one big lighting element. Uh, we ended up going with the MK3 washes for that and have 10 right in front of the video. It looks amazing on camera. Um, and although it's a good, good sized space, this is actually not a big room in terms of churches that we work in, especially when it comes to trim height. So we tested out the Rogue R2s and looked at the color temperature on those and found that it fit perfectly to be able to match the color temperature we were getting from the Ovation fixtures. So all of our worship lighting on this project is the Rogue R2 wash fixtures. All of our campuses were already LED, so moving this one to an all LED infrastructure just made sense. First of all, it makes it a lot easier to make changes on the fly as we need to. One example would be the front light. 
For a video project, we normally set our front light color temperature somewhere around 5400 to 5600 degrees Kelvin. Um, when Sony came in and were helping get their, their cameras dialed in, they requested us to go a little bit lower to 5000 degrees Kelvin. That was an easy change. I didn't have to get up and change gel. There was no major issue. Um, it was, you know, I think we made the change in about 10 seconds. Simple, simple thing from the console to dial in the color on the, um, on the 930s. Um, the other thing that's going to help Life Church going forward with this, fixtures without hot lamps in them just tend to last longer, have a longer lifespan. Uh, there's no lamps to change with that. So with a place like Life Church that has so many campuses they need to take care of, um, reducing maintenance time and cost uh, is a huge factor. Like everything else in this project, um, the support has been great to make sure that they are um, meeting our expectation as well as that of uh, Chauvet Professional. Craig, our pastor, feels comfortable walking on stage and delivering his message. That's top priority. Um, if it's second, um, we've set a new precedent for what's expected going coming down the pipe for other campuses.